I wake up and all my shit's gone. And look at this! <laughs> Just like last time! I woke up all... Just like last time! I woke up all groggy and with a headache. They didn't, he didn't just, he didn't just come through the gate, walk over and take my stuff from next to my head, which is fucking strapped to that. No, no. You take everybody's shit. So you just happen to come up on me while I'm sleeping and come on man, just get away with all my shit. He emptied my backpack over a pentagram that was spray painted on the ground. This was strapped to that. And somehow next to my head, he just unstrapped it. Sure he did. And I woke up all groggy with a headache. I didn't even take melatonin last night. Now, if he wasn't a cop, now, if he wasn't a cop, he wouldn't know that my bag was strapped down underneath it to this thing here. So what would he have done? He would have come, snuck up on me, grabbed it, pulled it. Oh, hey, that pulls this right into my head. Well, that's what anyone would have done, because how would he have known it was strapped down? He wouldn't, unless he was a cop. They know. So you just stole all my shit, because you needed it. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're saying? No, because you're a cop. Yes, because you're a cop. Because it's hot. Trying to get up the nerve to destroy his jaw with this belt buckle. But then I remember he's just following orders. That's not why you stole all my shit. Hmm. So he comes in the middle of the night, pulls this out of the way, then comes over and grabs this. That's what happens. But no, that's not what happened. He reached all the way under here and unhooked it first. I do it every morning and I, it takes me a minute. And somehow I didn't notice it sleeping right there. Somehow. Coming to, trying to figure out why my head hurts. Why I feel so tired. Oh, maybe because they put me under so they can steal my shit. Fuck. My fingertips are numb and tingly. Is that from the, the what, is it gas? I'm guessing they just snake something over the fence, blew gas in my mouth, in my face. Snake something over the fence. It's a sentient stick! Let's watch this. It's a fucking live! Oh what God. the fuck is it's that? Alive. Oh my fucking what God. Does it leap? Does it fly? Does it kill? What the fuck, bro? What is that? What is that? Oh my God. The fuck is that? That was attached to my bag and pretended like it was a stick. Now it's crawling. My fingertips are numb and tingly. Is that from the, the what, is it gas? I'm guessing they just snake something over the fence, blew gas in my mouth, in my face. I fall as, I'm out, and they take my shit. Just like last time! I did get robbed. But you do rob people. What's that? I do burglaries. So, burglaries. So, someone's sleeping over there against the wall, you grab their suitcase and they're, you didn't steal my shit. That wasn't me. Why would I steal someone's suitcase? Why don't you tell me why? No, good for me. Why would I need a suitcase? I'm in the same situation you are. Yeah, so why would you steal all my shit? I didn't. You did. You did, Nark. Huh? I said you did, Nark. Nark? Yeah. Yeah, I do know what a knock is. I think it's amazing you come over and start a conversation with me after stealing all my shit. Small fucking world, huh? Yeah.
Alright. Karma's a bitch. I said, how could he be a federal agent and be a nice guy? Because he's not a federal agent. Stop doing what you're doing. What? Because she's sending her grandma all these texts threatening him, right? Yeah. Now look, her grandma won't let her see a fucking stone. And I told her, I said, stop doing that because it's going to fucking have repercussions. I have videotape of her mother's birthday when I came to meet you guys at the park. She called her grandmother on the phone, okay, to set up a, a, a meeting. And you touched her on the leg and you said you should go. And that, you touching her on the leg and telling her she should go, Made her switch to her other personality. What do you mean? I was trying to see my son. Oh. So, maybe we could do that. Are you in the neighborhood? No. Why? Kind of. Why? Well, why? Because you said you wanted to see him. Is that what you said? Yes. Go. No. Stop. Seriously. Go. So when? Just let me call you back. What? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Oh, kind of depressed, fool. I don't want to fucking even move. I don't think I've even left this spot. Are you spot. going to see your son real quick? You're about to see the holy grail of psychology. He's switching her from one personality to another. And it happens right there. Now she doesn't want to go anywhere. Just let me call you back. What? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Oh, damn. Kind of depressed, fool. I don't want to fucking even move. I don't think I've even left this spot. You want to see your son real quick? She was on the phone with her grandmother to set up a meeting to see her baby. Right, and I said you should go see your baby. And that immediately triggered her to go back to the... Yeah. What do you mean? That triggered her to go to the other personality. And then all of a sudden she's like, I, I can't go, I can't go. Right, well what's that guy? I'm talking about she, because her grandma wouldn't wire her money. Remember when I had that van for a few days? Yeah. For a week? And then you guys were, were all at the storage unit. You and her were in the storage unit, and I was sitting outside. Yeah. I heard her say, quote, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers, and then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, what do I do? And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? I might no, you snapped your fingers because, yes. It's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well, I don't know hypnosis. But well, then why did she I'm tell you? I'm a convict, bro. I don't read into books, and I'm not into hypnosis like well, that. Well, then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how did you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I. Ever well, she didn't have it closed that moment then, okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking. That's I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know, I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay, and, and I'm telling yeah, you Yeah, I told her, yeah, I was going to come over here and be violent, but I fucking, I got so, so much. So where is she now? What's she's she walking over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. So, 
This character that you said his name is Jace. Jace, or yeah, he goes by Youngster. Is the street Jace name. or Youngster? Yes. You're saying it's his friend that stole your his stuff. His best friend. Yeah, his best friend okay. stole all of my stuff. And I told the LA de the deputies know the guy's name. Okay. They had him in custody, okay. and they did nothing. The day after they stole my stuff. He gets in my face. Now he's with his girlfriend at this place. They're Your holding daughter, hands. Correct? No, no. Or, this, we're back in LA County. Back in LA County. Gotcha. The day after President's Day when everything was stolen from me. Okay? This guy is standing next. They happen to get in line next to me with my stuff and he gets in my face. Now, unbeknownst to me, at that very same week, he is breaking up with that girl who was wearing my hat and calling my daughter, who was completely on the other end of town. Just coincidence in a town of 156,000 people, he's just also getting into my daughter's life. Okay, well it's not against the law for him to call her. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Okay, so just confirming you are not on your way over there and you're not going to go over there? I have no way to get over there. Okay. And I've called the police on this guy about 11 fucking times. He's violent, he's attacked me three times. I've shown the deputies three different videos of him physically attacking me. She, uh -huh. she's, he, they, deputies have gone over there and seen a black eye on her and just decided not to do anything about that. Um, and now she's calling again saying, please call the police. So if you call okay. her and he sees a call from 911, he might hurt her. Well, it doesn't pop up as 911 when we call people, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay. But so we'll send somebody out there again, okay? That'd be great. And Thank you. Yeah. And until this is going to come out that he's a federal agent undercover torturing us, this is is the is friend is or your daughter's boyfriend? Both of them. Okay. They're yeah. both federal agents or they're both torturing you? I think it's clever. Good. Good. This guy's good. They're both uh, federal agents. Okay. And how do, how do you why do you think they're federal agents? Well, if you never let me tell the story, we'll get to that. Well, I'm trying okay. to get you to cut to the chase. I'm not too concerned. <laughs> There's no chase. You okay. already made the report for your stolen belongings yes. in LA County. I'm yes. really not concerned okay. about what Well, I'm explaining to you I'm what trying to get to the okay. meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes story. is that all of a sudden now this guy's in my life, okay? He's my, the, the best friend of the guy who stole my stuff. He's now Victoria's boyfriend. And while we're at the storage unit, because we were homeless and at the storage unit, I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this, just a big snap. And her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen, snapping. please listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, listen, very carefully. This is what she did. He snapped her f his fingers, her head dropped, okay. it raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. She laid down and went to sleep. Okay. Okay. Now he is the fourth boyfriend in a row okay. that I've... Can, can we pause you? Yeah. So he hypnotized her, he didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything? That's what we're getting at, we need some clarification. Yeah, I, I'm, so I'm, talking about how, I'm talking about how he hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the, the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. Okay. And I have copious videos of her of us talking about it, they have manipulated her, they have put her under, no, I mean, you, you, see, you stopped me in the middle of that because you're trying to try to find where the assault was. I'm explaining that he was hypnotizing her. And that's what I'm now trying to make sure I'm tracking you. You understand, yeah. that's, that's sure this is a serious, right. that's, a, that's a different kind of assault, but you're both under, no, I don't know you're that hypno hypnosis putting, is assault. putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is, that that's just. I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really? Said he made her go to sleep. That 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 time. That's, that's not abuse. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. But it, 
Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Yeah. As soon as I found out, because you got the hat back, okay? Yeah. As soon as What happened when I got the hat back? Look, listen. Mama, please. Vicky. I'm so tired of my stress. Stop freaking out. Vicky, come back in the room. Vicky! Breathe. Breathe. Stop. Stop. No. Stop. 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 It's just a boyfriend, Vicky. You have a son who needs you. I'm out and they take my shit just like last time! Do you endorse Frank Barris for America? Yes, I am uh, I'm from the future and I believe the best thing for our country is for Frank Barris to become president. So uh, are you guys gonna vote for him? I mean that's an endorsement. He, he just endorsed me for president. <laughs>